here we have one trigonometric exponential equation for which we have to find out solution means the values of x so let us see equation is 27 sin square x plus 27 cosine square x is equal to 28 so i am going to start this question by one identity that is sin square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1 so from this equation i can write cos square x is equal to 1 minus sin square x so put this value in the original equation so equation will become 27 sin square x plus 27 1 minus sin square x equal to 28 now a small simplification is there we can write 27 power 1 minus sin square so using property of exponent i can write 27 over 27 power sin square x is equal to 28 now i am going to put 27 power sin square x is equal to y so that equation will convert into y plus 27 over y equal to 28 that means y square plus 27 equal to 28 y or in other words i can write y square minus 28 y plus 27 equal to 0 now we have to solve this quadratic equation so let's write equation y square minus 28 y plus 27 equal to 0 i am going to split this 27 as 27 times 1 factorization of 27 is 27 and 1 if i will add 27 and 1 then i am getting my middle term that is 28 so how i am going to simplify this quadratic equation by splitting the middle term as 27y minus y plus 27 as it is equal to 0 if i will take y common from the first two term then y minus 27 and negative 1 common from last two term then y minus 27 now y minus 27 and y minus 1 or y minus 1 you can also write y minus 1 times y minus 27 equal to 0 so there are two solutions basically y equal to 1 and y equal to 27 let us start with y equal to 1 so y equal to 1 so that means 27 power sin square x is equal to 1 so i will write that equation 27 power sin square x is equal to 1 I will write 27 part 0 that means sin square x equal to 0 or sin x is equal to 0 if you talk about cause of it is 0 then simplification means the general solution for this trigonometric equation we can write x is equal to n pi sin of even pi or odd pi it doesn't matter where n belongs to integer means you can write x equal to 0 plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi there are sorry there are infinite solutions 0 plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi and so on so this is one set now come to the second equation that is y equal to 27 so y is 27 power sin square x is equal to 27 so 27 means 27 power 1 
so after comparing the exponent sin square x will be equal to 1 that means sin x is equal to plus minus 1 so general solution for this trigonometric equation we can write x is equal to 2 n pi plus minus pi over 2 this is your general solution you can write your general solution as x is equal to 2 n pi plus minus pi over 2 where n belongs to integer so if you consider x is equal to 2 n pi plus minus pi over 2 then you can think about if i am going to put n equal to 1 then it is nothing but 360 if you see if i am talking about 360 or 2 pi plus minus pi over 2 that is same so what i am going to do here what i am doing actually that is i am taking n equal to plus 1 then it is 360 if i am taking n equal to minus 1 then it is negative 360 or negative 2 pi that means what i am doing i am finding coterminal angles so this is nothing but coterminal angle calculation so we can write directly our answer as if we want to write in terms of pi over 2 then we can write number of answers like x is equal to 2 pi plus minus pi over 2 4 pi plus minus pi over 2 now let us consider negative values of n so that value will be minus 2 pi plus minus pi over 2 minus 4 pi plus minus pi over 2 respectively these values will be our solution set if you want to understand see how it will look like in unit circle so if you consider unit circle this is your pi by 2 0 comma 1 0 comma negative 1 means negative pi over 2 so what exactly we are doing here we are taking the coterminal angle of pi over 2 so how it is see this is 2 pi and then plus pi over 2 i am repeating again this is 2 pi plus pi over 2 so it is coterminal angle of pi over 2 if you consider the negative one then you can see 2 pi i will do repeat it same see this is 2 pi plus pi over 2 now i am taking minus so suppose minus 360 what i will do i will consider the opposite direction this is minus 2 pi and then minus pi over 2 so that value will here see this value so basically these are coterminal angles coterminal angle means you have to consider coterminal side by adding or subtracting 2 pi the multiple of 2 pi or minus 2 pi so if i talk about general answer what you will write then you will write x is equal to n pi and 2n pi plus minus pi over 2 there would be infinite solution in this solution set as you can see because of coterminal angles if you are putting values n equal to 1 2 3 4 and so on then negative integers negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and so on and in this case also 0 1 2 3 4 plus and then negative side minus 1 minus 2 so there would be infinite set of values so this is all about answer and this is your solution if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and like as much as you can okay bye bye we'll meet in next video with very interesting problem on same bye bye